Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. This was marinating on the site for a little bit, but we finally got it done. 21-22 Panini Prism Premier League Soccer 12 box. Pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All card ship, one auto per box. A lot of different parallels, a lot of fun stuff. Um, and a pretty, pretty popular high-end release. There's the whole case right there. In all its glory. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody here for... Uh, First off, for your patience. I know a lot of people bought their team straight up and then we were waiting for that filler to fill, but we finally got it done. And there's everybody. I think we can get this on one shot right here. There we go. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler. So thanks everybody for getting in. Appreciate it. Now let me, it's kind of a heavy case. Let's see what we got here. And I believe the personal breaks channel at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram. I believe the personal breaks channel is a. Uh, has more personal boxes of this stuff. All right, so we're doing all 12 boxes, so kick back, relax, settle in. A little hockey on in the background. The Avs are up one nothing on my Kings, still in the first period. So remember, all card ship. And the auto is popping early here. It's Calvin Phillips for Leeds. One auto a box. That's Jordan, who got Leeds in that filler. Pink parallels, not numbered. We've got Red Mojo, Pablo Fornals for Weston to 159. We're actually going to set those aside just in the interest of time. We'll have our sorting and shipping team sleeve and top load those.
Harry Maguire from Man United. And we've got Mohamed Salah to 199. Liverpool. That'll be for Joel. Pay that man. We got 139 out of 199. Kurt Zuma for West Ham. That's for Jeff. Won that team in the uh, in that filler that we did earlier today. We got Jaden Sancho, blue, 296 out of 340 for Man United. That'll be for Jeff Ray. There's Chris Wood for Burnley. Fabinho, silver. Harvey Elliott, that's one of the bigger rookie names. And hopefully we can find some parallels for Joel in Liverpool. That's my club, the club I support. Harvey Elliott's supposed to be pretty good. There's uh, Luke Thomas, 67 out of 99. Purple for the Foxes, Lester. That's going to be for Steven. And there's Raul Jimenez, Hyper. Now, I think Ryan Kaysen mentioned this earlier. I've seen zero color blasts this year. Yeah, apparently the color blasts, they weren't kidding when they said it was ultra rare. Now this is our just our third case of, so we've done two full cases on the website. And I know, I know on Instagram Live, personal breaks have been selling a lot of personal boxes of this. And they haven't seen a color blast either. And I want to say they've gone through, they've had to have gone through a few cases as well, if not more. I think I remember was, I'm pretty sure it was Jeff, Jeff Ray, who was saying that, that this year they're like one out of every 10 cases. So oh, it is ultra rare. There must be odds on the back of this, right? Do they exist? Have people seen them on, on eBay? On a secondary market website? On a message board? Has, has anyone seen one in the wild? All the Panini logos all over the wrapping. Paint based prisms, color blast. Well, it doesn't give me odds on color blast. No, it doesn't really give you odds here, does it? It just said, I'll show you in the next box. But it just says color blast, and it doesn't say out of how many. So, a real mystery. There's Christian Pulisic, 64 out of 99 for Chelsea. That'll be for John Ryder. There's Timo Werner, Christian Pulisic's teammate. Harvey Elliott. I don't think you've seen him yet, but I think there's, another, there's an Arsenal player as well. And it's also one of the more 
upper tier sought after rookies in this set. Hopefully we can find parallels of those guys as well. There's uh, Lewis Dunk, 25 out of 99 for Brighton. And a blue Tyron Mings to 340 for Aston Villa. That's going to go to Matthew. Arsenal saying Rizzo back to the Yankees. No, I feel like Bukayo Saka's uh, rookie cards were last year. I feel like there's, I, I'll know the name when I see it. Um, there's Damari Gray to 199 for Everton. That'll be for Eric Jennings. But he has a rookie badge on, on his card. There's Pierre-Emile Hoisberg to 159. That'll go to Tottenham. Jeff won Tottenham in that filler. There's Sadio Mane. Is it Emile Smith? I don't think it's Emile Smith Rowe. Keep naming other Arsenal youngsters. And the autograph is another Calvin Phillips. All right, two boxes, two Calvin Phillips. So, so I guess Leeds, Jordan Nash, and you're starting your uh, Calvin Phillips PC, whether you intended to or not. Fernandez? Give me the rookie card list. Oh yeah, they don't designate RC on the... Uh... I think I'm thinking of Gabriel on Arsenal. Am I thinking of Gabriel on Arsenal? No, I'm thinking of Gabriel Martinelli. That's what I'm thinking of. I think him and Harvey Elliott, among others, are, are, are one of the, the kind of bigger names that, that rookie-wise, that, that people are looking for. At least on the secondary market, that's where it's been, it's been doing well. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to look. We'll have to find the card when it when we get to it. But I don't know how. I don't know how uh, how they designate rookie cards or not. Because I I know Harvey Elliott did not make his first team debut this year. I think he's definitely last year. But I suppose it's a tricky. It's a little tricky with soccer. Right? At some point, you're have to, you're gonna have to be like, well, we think he's gonna get regular. First team minutes, so then Harvey Elliott's considered a, a rookie card in this. Same with Martinelli. So how do they decide that? If there's a player who's been in world soccer for a long time, but then goes to the Premier League, is that their rookie Premier League card, or is it not? Because they're like in their eighth year of their career. Here's Sadio Mane, 95 out of 99.
And we've got Raul Jimenez. Nice autograph for Wolverhampton. That's for Jason Fractor, who won the Wolves in the, uh, the filler. Rex, what happened to the report about Anthony Rizzo? And he's going back to the Yankees, according to Jesse Rogers of ESPN. Maybe it was just a friendly phone call. They've been in contact. <laughs> How are you, how's the family, Anthony? It's pretty good. We're going to re-sign with the Yankees. Oh, well, great. Congrats. Just checking in. We'll see you later. Here's a rookie silver, Armando Broja, for Southampton. That'll be for Jordan. We got Broja again, 101 out of 199. Rookie red for Southampton. There's Mason Mount. And a Virgil van Dyke silver. Completely healthy this year. And has just complete that completely transforms Liverpool. Mason Mount. We got uh, Joe Linton, 274 out of 340 for Newcastle. Blue parallel for Raymond. Dyke Hyper. Yeah, I think at that towards the end of the season, I think I think a lot of us in the chat were agreeing that that Rizzo back to the Yankees would be would be a deal that works out for both sides. Is Aaron Cresswell to 340 for West Ham? That's for Jeff. And that's for uh, Crystal Palace, who did my club Liverpool a favor by ending with a nil nil draw with Man City. That's right, I, for, I totally forgot that we had Champions League action today. And Man United falling 1-0, uh, and then ended up losing 2-1 on aggregate. So no, no Cristiano Ronaldo heroics there. And then I think it looks like Benfica beat Ajax. 3-2 on aggregate. So it's sort of a packed fixture list for some of the teams that are battling on a lot of different fronts. And one of those teams, as Arsenal mentioned, is Arsenal, your club, against my club, Liverpool. I think Liverpool is away. That's an afternoon for us in the United States, in LA, 
an early afternoon matchup. That that's a big match. And Arsenal, yeah, are in the fourth spot. So they've got a Champions League spot for now. Eight points behind Chelsea, and just one point ahead on Man United. But so Arsenal have three games in hand. Looks like they've only played 26 games. With a win, Liverpool could pull within one point of Manchester City, something that I did not think would be possible at this stage of the season, you know, if you talked to me like a month ago. So, and just Liverpool just need to... Now the pressure is on them to try to keep keep winning. We got Bernardo Silva, 43 out of 75. Cracked ice for Man City. That's going to be for Ryan Kaysen. And look at this, nice Harvey Elliott parallel here. So that's a nice one. That's a nice Harvey Elliott and this uh, Allison Hyper going to uh, Joel and Liverpool. Picked up Liverpool straight up. And the autograph behind Fabianski is another autograph for Leeds, but a different player though, Jack Harrison. I feel like Arsenal should finish should finish top four this season, no? Sorry, we got Red Mojo Nick Pope to one fifty nine uh, for uh, Burnley. That'll be for Jeff Ray. We've got Jao Cancelo, pink for Man City. Those pink parallels, not numbered, but still nice. All card ship, of course. Yeah, the Leeds collection looking nice. Still have a ways to go here in this break, though. And there's an Alexander Lacazette, 257 at 340, speaking of Arsenal. And there's our, I think, our first Gabriel Martinelli for Arsenal, Jeff Ray. Now let's, hold, let's, let's look for some parallels. That'd be nice. A silver, low number. But that's a start. Oh, is that right? That's some good news. I like that, Rex. Daylight savings to be made permanent. Miguel Almiron to 199. Harvey Elliott for Liverpool. Yeah, I don't want to change clocks again. Try to adjust to let's keep let's keep the keep the sunshiny schedule. It's Callum Wilson for Newcastle to 340. Gabriel Jesus. All right, next box. Yeah, we're, that's got to be rough, right, Rex? Working third shift, and then you either 
suddenly gain or lose an hour, it gets, it gets wacky. All right, we have Vladimir Kufal, 131 out of 340 for the Hammers. Jeff Ray with Weston. Ashley Young still playing? Aston Villa? There's Luke Shaw, pink. For Man United. And we got Junior Firpo, 24 out of 99 for Leeds. Lewis Dunk, silver. Well, Arsenal, I hope that happens at the beginning of next season, not not right now, not tomorrow. No, I don't want to see that. I want to see Liverpool try to win another title. Uh, you know, I don't know. Let's let's see if we can find another Emil Smith Rowe. We got an Aaron Ramsdale, 16 out of 199 for Arsenal. Nice little color match. And behind Luke Shaw, the next autograph is. For Newcastle, Jamal Lacassels for, that's for Raymond and Newcastle. I see, so Albert Sambi Lokonga is a rookie for Arsenal. Something for Wolves right here. Leander Dendonker, 159 out of 199 for Jason and Wolves. And there's Kyle Walker Peters, 220 out of 340 for Southampton. Blue parallel going to Jordan. Rex is saying the Rizzo money, the, the money that Rizzo took with the Yankees is half of what the Cubs offered him. 
for an extension. That tells me Rizzo is definitely ready to leave. Yeah, it sounds like it. I mean, I think there was a breakdown in just the relationship too, right? Right? I think that's what it originally was. The breakdown between him and ownership or something like that. And then he was just like, screw it. Yeah, Jeff, me too. I would love to see a color blast as well. I mean, the box, the, the text on the box was not kidding. Ultra rare. Do they exist? Have people seen? I, no one answered. No one replied. And so I'm thinking maybe they don't exist. If anyone's seen like color blast from this set, I'll look it up right now. 21, 22. Prism EPL Color Blast. Very rare. They do exist, though. I see a Kevin De Bruyne Color Blast. They listed at two, but they only they accepted seven. I feel like I feel like that was too low to accept. That guy's affecting the entire market. Um, Leandro Trossard went for 200 bucks. Mohamed Salah went for a thousand. Another Mohamed Salah went for a thousand. I mean, that, that's it? Yeah, okay, so it was Jeff. That I, I was trying to remember who told me that it was 1 in 10 cases. How did you find that math? There's a Neil Smith row right here. No rookie card badge, by the way. There's a Vicente Guaita, 86 out of 99 for Palace. Josh Pruce with Crystal Palace. Yeah, I feel like, well, this person had listed this Mohammed Salah two and accepted one. I mean, you can't just let things go sometimes. You have to kind of hold fast on, on these values. Do yourself and the hobby a favor. Paul Pogba, pink. Curtis Jones, was his rookie card last year too? There's Allen for Everton, 57 out of 199. That Aaron Ramsdale card, that's the only one that they must have missed one pass on the machines. There's an Adam Armstrong, rookie silver. That's for uh, Southampton. Oh, yeah, join Southampton right there. And that'll be for Jordan, who won Southampton in a filler. No, Ryan. <laughs> Nothing significant. I think there was maybe like a, a, a red card number to 199 or something like that, but... Nothing significant. That's Matush Klitsch to 340 for Leeds. David De Gea, that kind of thing. But in terms of autos, no. I mean, like, stuff like the Bruno Fernandez hyper parallel and stuff. Like, nothing super significant yet. We still have a whole half case to go after this box. So don't panic just yet. And back here, it's for the Hammers. Vladimir Kufal for Weston United. That's going to go to Jeff Ray.
There's Jacob Ramsey to 340 for Aston Villa. That will be for Matthew O. Got a rookie hyper, Yoan Wisa for Brentford. So yeah, Balogun is a rookie for, for our son. And there's Hyunmin Son to 159. Nice red mojo for Tottenham. That's going to go to Jeff Ray. All right, we are halfway through this full case break. Nick L bought one of those Mohamed Salahs. So undervalued, yeah. I mean, it's especially with... Well, or actually, I'll set these aside for... Let's carefully move these. Yeah, especially with how rare they are. Well, I, I'm assuming that as time goes on, Nick, as people realize, wow, there's not a lot of these color blasts <laughs> appearing. I think people will finally, the public will finally wrap their heads around just how rare they are. I mean, I feel like you could pop that back onto, I feel like you can pop that back onto the site, onto eBay for like $3,000 and then quote unquote settle for two and a half or something like that. You know, especially if Liverpool like, you know, end up in the Champions League final or ends up winning the title, which would be kind of shocking. And especially in a in a World Cup year as well. Yeah, Sala has been playing amazing. And he's going into the last year's contract. So for I'm a Liverpool supporter, so there's been a lot of conversation about, hey, are we gonna pay the man? Are we gonna, we gotta keep him? I'm in the camp of we gotta pay the man. And hold on to him. Which may mean guys like Sadio Mane or, or Roberto Firmino, who are also entering the last year of their deals. Maybe one of those, one or both of those, have to end up walking. But, but I mean, I, th I think he's that good. But I think, here, here he is right here. I think if Salah... Liverpool does well, you know, especially during some high-profile matches like Liverpool-Man City or maybe wins the title or maybe wins a Champions League or something like that. That could raise his profile. I'm pretty sure, is Egypt going to be in the World Cup? Or have they qualified? We have some qualifiers at the end of the month, but if they qualify and if he does well, you know, maybe wins Golden Boot or something like that in the World Cup later this fall, that's going to be huge too. That's going to help the boatload. And that will that should surely raise his profile. There's uh, Joachim Anderson for Crystal Palace. Josh Proust with an autograph. We got a blue Luke Thomas at 340 for Leicester.
got some orange here. It's a 25. Pierre Les Melu for Norwich. That's for Jordan and Norwich City. Another Gabriel Martinelli for Arsenal, Jeff Ray. Yeah, GK for life saying if soccer got the love in the U.S. that doesn't us for all, I feel like we'd be in the top three in the world constantly. Yeah, think about it. Imagine if our if our best American athletes, if all they played was soccer. You know, we I think people always have fun with this conversation. It's like, um, like what if what if LeBron James played basketball or played played soccer instead of basketball? There's Romelu Lukaku to 340 for Chelsea, for John Ryder. What if, uh, like, Kobe Bryant could play a little soccer. Imagine if he played soccer. He'd be a pretty pretty great striker. Gosh, all, all, all these Americans would be, would be head and shoulders taller than so many of so many players around the world, right? LeBron James, center forward, or a central defender. You know, the U.S. would be winning set pieces left and right. Imagine, uh, imagine Randy Moss as a as a uh, a right fullback, just flying down the line. How do you defend? You wouldn't be able to defend that. Can you imagine like Odell Beckham Jr. as as a goalkeeper? He'd bring a lot of swag to that goalkeeping position, that's for sure. Yeah, can you imagine if Tyree Kill was on the on, on a left winger, a left fullback, an attacking fullback? It's John Joe Shelby to ninety nine for Newcastle. Maybe not Odell Beckham Jr. as a goalie. I'm just trying to think of like Stephon Diggs, maybe someone with like great hands, big wingspan. He's flipped around. And a Wesley Fofana. Kind of surprised me there. Signatures. Fofana is for Leicester City. No parallel here, right? Yeah, just a regular base auto for Leicester. Who's got the Foxes? Steven with Leicester City. Steven C.
There's an Obama Yang Silver. Arsenal edition for Jeff Ray. Kevin De Bruyne, 005 out of 340 for Man City. Ryan. Talmans, 53 75 for the Foxes. Nice cracked ice. Stephen Carney again. And then there's Samari for Leicester City Emergent. Insert silver. GK mentioning Fofana, pretty young. Sucks that he had a freak leg injury in the preseason game. Is he, was, is he out for the year? I'm assuming I was like, I haven't heard too much about that guy. Ricardo Pereira, 21 out of 159. Another parallel, red mojo for Leicester City. And Peter Tebo for Watford, rookie silver for Minku. And was that our autograph? Perhaps? No, it's not. It looks like the machine put some cards backwards a little bit. Oh, the autograph was the redemption. That's right, that's right. Rookie Red, Joanna Wiesa. 199 out of 199 for Brentford. CJ. Odegaard, Martin Odegaard, pink parallel for Arsenal, Jeff Ray. It's getting a tiny bit warm here. All right. Four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Still a lot of opportunities left to see some big hits. Yeah, I think a lot of us have been holding our breath for for color blasts as well. So let's see if we get lucky here, gang. All right, Phil, that guy's pretty good, Phil Foden. And we got Connor Gallagher for Palace, 275. Josh Proust, Harry Kane. Freddie Woodman, rookie hyper. For Newcastle. It'll be for Jeff Ray. And a Wayne Rooney, Club Legends autograph, Manchester United. 
Jeff Ray with United. Ten out of twenty-five. Is indeed a legend. There we go. Even though, as a Liverpool supporter, a rival, but I, I can res respect Wayne Rooney. Did a stint in the MLS, right? He was here in America for a couple of years. There's Josh Brownhill to ninety-nine. Burnley. Is he still doing the player coach thing right now? For like, there was like a side where he's doing the player coach thing. It's Kieran Tierney. Grizzleby, what's going on? Yeah, yes, that's right. D DC United. Oh, he's just co coaching for Darby now. I want to say he was offered the Everton job. And there's a uh, speaking of Everton. There's Seamus Coleman to three forty. I think he he admitted he he's not ready for ready for that big Premier League job yet. You know, it might be interesting um, if Wayne Rooney ends up coaching the Premier League and um, or coaching Everton. There's a chance that after uh, after Jurgen Klopp, who may may take a break in a, maybe two or three seasons, he may take a sabbatical, and that might open the door for maybe Steven Gerrard coaching Liverpool. It's former club. The Shea Adams, 58 out of 159 for Southampton, Red Mojo. So that, that would be fun to watch. Two former rivals coaching against each other. There's Danny Welbeck to 340. Former uh, England teammates as well. There's Joe Roden for uh, Tottenham. Rookie silver for Jeff. And there's a Sumari for Leicester City, rookie silver. Wow, so their previous owner screwed up financially, so they got this huge. Is this Darby County? So they got a huge 21 point deduction to start the season. Jeez. And imagine if that if that system existed in the United States. It, would, it never would fit. We'd never be able to enforce it. The owners would never vote for it. But they sell a lot of the current players and they're using a lot of their academy players. That's gotta be kind of cool. If you're a lot of academy players, probably a lot of guys in their early 20s who've probably played with Wayne Rooney on like FIFA or something like that, and now he's coaching them. That's gotta be a cool feeling. Like proper legend in your dressing room. Yeah, they call it a dressing room out there, by the way. Not a locker room, a dressing room. They call them shirts, not jerseys. Kits, not uniforms. Although I suppose that if you watch the Ted Lasso show, you probably you probably picked up on a lot of that. Wow. So Wayne Rooney's got his club less than five points away from out of the relegation zone to keep the club alive.
will keep the club alive. Color Blast opportunity still alive. Three boxes left. One, two, and three. Fingers crossed. Good luck. I guess just any, any kind of monster in general would be nice, too. That Wayne Rooney was nice. Let's see if we can keep that momentum going. There's Sissoko to 159 for Watford. Min Koo. We got uh, Pablo Mari for Arsenal, rookie silver for Jeff. Jamie Vardy to 340. We got for Weston Thomas Susek, 29 out of 99. Rex, Joe, I was curious if a break I was in has been sorted or shipped. I looked at the list on the schedule and bam, I found that the breaks I was curious about have been sorted, waiting to be shipped. Such an informative tool that Jaspies provides. I appreciate that, Rex. Appreciate you looking. And that's another great resource on the break schedule. That's always, uh, that I always have pinned in the chat. The next tab over, there's Ben May, or Mie, or me, for Burnley. That'll be for Jeff Ray. There's also that shipping tab. I wanna say we were just a, a little bit behind and now we're caught up again. It ebbs and flows depending on, you know, the size of products that we've been breaking. If it's base heavy stuff and that delays things a little bit. If it's like a flawless week or, a, you know, a dynasty week or something like that, whenever that comes out, you know, if we're all caught up, those will, those will usually fly off the shelves. Another Gabriel Martinelli. For uh, Jeff, Let's see if we can find some parallels of him. That'd be nice. Even a refractor would be great. There's Theo Walcott to 199. And Eduardo Mendy for Chelsea. Why they why they took him out of penalty shootouts? I will never know. But that's what Thomas Tuchel wanted to do. <laughs> Jason. You're sure supply chain issue can slow it down too? No, actually. Maybe at the height of the pandemic when we were, it was hard to get top loaders, but even then we used other top loaders and we figured it out. But I think we're, we are well stocked nowadays. Yeah, there are these, uh, those are actually pretty common, Rebel, those like black, yellow wave parallels. Yeah, that guy's done. We had enough of them. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Jason, he tried to come back under, a, this is how sad that person is, tried to come back under a new account. And I banned him in half a second. <laughs> and I started laughing because like, I started laughing because it's like, oh man, this guy spent all this time trying to create an extra account and then ban hammer right away. 
That's what happened. Once you're done, you're done. Yeah, you're probably thinking about this, right, Rebel? All right, onwards. Yeah, that was nice Reese James to 49 back there too. Who'd that go to again? Yeah, that was for Chelsea. And it'll be for John Ryder. And the auto popping early. It's for Aston Villa. That's Emiliano Martinez for Matthew O and Villa. It might be, but that, that person is not not creative enough to to create a character like that and then and then keep that character up the entire time. There's Raheem Sterling to three forty for Man City. Yeah, I did. Did you also see him play without a strap for like yeah, he three like, minutes? Like he's trying to rest, he's like with helmets loose. Like, yeah, I'd be pissed too. Like, like if a puck caught him underneath the jaw, yeah. that that would be that's dangerous. He would get KO'd right well, there. This is in the 1920s. Yeah, sure seriously. <laughs> yeah. No, I am GK. I've got the Kings Kings game on right now. There is a Ibrahima Diallo, 92 out of 159. There's Luka Milo uh, Mili Foyevich, 72 out of 199 for Crystal Palace. Another uh, Martinelli. Yeah, I, I kind of, kind of got half an eye <laughs> watching that, watching the Kings game. Felt like there was a card behind there. No. right off the back of his all right we got for Watford 80 out of 340 Ismaila Sar for Minku and Watford yeah I know went off the guy's elbow We've got 76 out of 99. We've got a Jack Clark, purple rookie for Tottenham. That'll be for Jeff Ray. We've got another Harvey Elliott for Joel and Liverpool. And we've got a Crystal Palace rookie silver, Mark Gue. Guehi, maybe? Apologies to uh, Mark for butchering his last name. All right, last box. Good luck. I'm pretty sure, G 
Jason Jaspi has personal boxes of this on uh, Instagram Live. If you want to get into that over there, at Jaspi's Breaks. Jason, you got a lot of prison soccer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Jason has some personal boxes. If you want to run into that. Yeah, like a Martinelli Auto would be great. A Color Blast would be great. I know they're super rare, as Jeff said. One out of every 10 cases, according to him, but hopefully we can uh, find a Color Blast. That would, that would be really awesome. Was ready for Norwich. Christos Zolis. That's uh, Jordan with Norwich City. Cascade, have I pulled a color blast from any pr Yes. Yes. Color blasts from here have been extremely hard, but some other products, color blasts have been a lot easier. Um, I want to say Obsidian Soccer from last year. There was a color blast per box. And then I pulled some in different sports as well, like Prism Football, Prism Basketball. I mean, not a lot. They're even in those those cases. They're they're pretty rare, but some products a little more common than others. This pro for this particular product and year, they they made it ultra rare, as they promise on the side of the box. There's Connor Cody to one ninety nine. That is for uh, Wolves. That'll be for Jason. I think the soccer color blast looked pretty much the same. It's like landscape mode, the player in the middle, and then like the big blast of color in the background, and then a white background. So pretty similar to the uh, to the previous one. I think, although I think Obsidian Soccer had black background, and then with the blast of color, which looked really cool too. Another uh, Martinelli for Jeff and Arsenal. And the autograph is also for Arsenal. It's a flashback auto, David Ospina. For the Gunners, that's going to be Jeff Ray. There you go, Jeff. Last auto of the break. Appreciate you getting in. Being patient with the break as well. It took a minute or two, but we finally got it done. All right, there's Luke Eiling. 235 to 340 for Leeds. There's Obsidian, uh, sorry, check that, Harvey Elliott, that is, I was reading the chat. Yeah, Obsidian football was one per case, and, uh, and black backgrounds, right? That's another Harvey Elliott for Joel in Liverpool. Liverpool, Liverpool. <laughs> GK for life does not miss David Ospina. Jack Grealish at a at a distance or at a quick glance, does that kind of look like uh, Kieran Knightley from uh, Bennett like Beckham? They kind of do their hair the same way. Hey, nice emergent orange, two out of twenty-five. Nathaniel Phillips. Nice insert for Liverpool for Joel. And 
we got a James Ward Prowse for Southampton, 68 out of 340. Timo Werner for Chelsea. We got a Matt Target, 105 out of 159 for Aston Villa. Allison for Liverpool. And that, my friends, I think is going to be that. No color blast? No. We got a rookie, Sergei Ganos, for Brentford. That's going to be for CJ. All right, not bad. Tons of color that we're going to sleeve and top load for you before everything's sorted and shipped out. There's a quick look. That's Wesley Fofana for Leicester. Not numbered, but we got that, that wave Harvey Elliott rookie. And we had a ton of Harvey Elliott base and Gabriel Martinelli base rookies that we're going to sleeve and top load out. And this is one of the nicer autos of the set here. Club Legends Wayne Rooney for Manchester United. 10 out of 25. And there you go, gang. Thank you very much for uh, watching and uh, watching the 21-22 Prism Premier League Soccer 12 box. Pick your team number three. We got some personal boxes available on um, the Instagram channel at Jaspies Breaks for now, and we'll see if we can find a, another case or uh, something like that for uh, JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. So keep your eye out for more soccer. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.